Hi everyone, again, I'm just gonna use the screen recording today instead of having my own uh, whiteboard behind me, but these are the words that we need for the next two chapters. Some of them are tricky to read. They're spelt a bit um, differently than other words we might've seen before. So that's why it's really important to pay attention to these words so you recognize them uh, when you actually open up your novel. So the first one here we have is Violet Beauregard. She's gonna be the third character that we are introduced to. So we we're introduced to two new characters, uh, two new main characters last time. We were introduced to their parents as well, but this is the third um, child now that we're gonna be introduced to, Violet Beauregard. Ferociously, if someone is doing something and they're quite like fierce, so they're quite um, maybe determined, you could say they're doing it ferociously. Adore. This is another word for love. Like I adore chocolate chip cookies. I absolutely love them. So just like we had in the last chapter, we saw the word scrumptious and I explained that you could use that instead of saying something is delicious. You could use adore in your own writing and you could say you adore something or one of your characters adores something instead of saying that they love it. It just makes your writing a little bit uh, more interesting. Criticize. If you criticize people, you tell them a lot of the time, what is wrong or what's wrong with what they're doing so you criticize people beastly if something is beastly it might not be very nice to look at it might not be very nice to be around sometimes i think of the beast in um beauty and the beast the way people didn't really want to be around him they thought he was angry and mean and not nice to look at and then the last word there i'm not going to move my mouse because i don't want the box to uh, block it but it's despicable if something is despicable if you're doing it something that is despicable you probably shouldn't be doing it like uh, in despicable me they call him despicable me he's it's called despicable me because he's going around and he's committing crimes so they're supposed to be despicable acts things that you really shouldn't be doing let's go on to this next box we have the first one is mike tv this is the fourth character now that we're going to be fourth main character we're going to be introduced to so we had violet bogard augustus gloop and veruca salt and now we have mike tv interrupt we know what interrupt means but i just wanted to write it down so that you um can see it because some of us may not have ever seen it written down before hoard if you hoard things you keep a load of things you might have like you might hoard um things that like you had when you were younger or your mom or dad might uh, hoard things and you might have like drawers just full of stuff in your house um there's shows as well on tv um of people who hoard things in their house is just full and full and full of stuff um sixpence this is an old type of money. It's an old coin that um, people had before euros, before we even, we had pounds before we had euros or punts. And in the UK, they had pounds. They still have pounds now, but it's an old coin. So a sixpence. Furthest, if something is the furthest away from you, it's the farthest, to, it's far away. So like the furthest person away from me in the classroom would be the person probably sitting down by the computer when I'm standing at my desk, that is. And then the last one, ought. If you ought to be doing something, you should be doing it. So like, I ought to go for a walk right now. I should go for a walk right now. I ought to be doing my schoolwork right now. You should be doing your schoolwork right now.